Do you ever feel stuck when starting a piece? Do you want an easy method to generate choreography so it can grow into something bigger? I have an easy method for you. It's called the colors method. It's a tried and true way to generate choreography that I've used in a couple of my videos. It is fun, it is simple, and it most importantly can turn your piece into a whole world and make it into something bigger, something that you really love. I'm going to go through all of the colors with you, talk about the emotion behind the colors, what it makes me think of, and some ways that you can use it in your choreography. And make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to give you a couple of bonus tips. Give this video a thumbs up if you find this method helpful or you want to try this method at all. It really helps my channel out and knows that this is something that you want to keep watching so I can keep making for you. And comment if you... Uh, Comment if you use this method, what color you use or what color you want to use. Let me know below. Let's go ahead and go into the studio to get started. If you hear the pitter patter in the background, it's my dog Spot, who is walking around the studio smelling every single corner. <laughs> Aren't you? Are you curious? Yes, and he's trying to find a way to escape. Uh -uh. So, red is obviously the most used color, I would say. The most known color for sure. Um, the most used in dance. It's passion, it's anger, it's blood. It's actually, I looked it up, and it's strength or sacrifice or hatred. So those go along the lines of the other ones I've said. Here are some quick ways to add red into your dance. Orange is also kind of a playful color, but it's more retro. It's cooler than yellow, you know? So it's confidence, it's health, because you think of orange, the fruit. Orange is bouncy, laid back, has grooves, and is super funky and retro. Yellow is a very fun color to use. It is happy, it is sunshine, it is sprightly, it is warmth, it's playful. Green, I think, is something I wanna try. Maybe not today, but like for another video. Green is envy, green is abundance, green is, um, Nature is healing. Fresh. Here are two different ways to do green in your dance. Blue is, I learned, trust, but blue is also peace and loyalty. I think of the ocean. I think cold. I think sad. Purple is pretty straightforward. It's royalty and it's luxury. Black is dramatic, it's sophistication, it's death, it's evil. I mostly think of embodying a witch or the Grim Reaper while doing the color black. White is clean, white is innocence, white is purity. Oh, my voice, what happened to my voice? Here are some ways to embody white in your dance and your movement. Gray or black and white reminds me of old movies and the kind of blurred lines metaphorically between good and evil or like that transition, like someone is turning evil. Pink is compassion, pink is candy, pink is sweet, pink is sincerity actually I learned by looking this up on the Googs. Gold is knowledge, wealth, success, materialistic. So gold like purple go together. Silver, the last one, is calming, organized, futuristic, you think of robots, and unemotional cold, like robots again. So today my plan is to Take one of these colors. I'm thinking orange because I like orange and it's playful. I'm thinking 
orange and I'm just gonna like play around in the studio and see what comes out. I might even make a concept video from this. So play along with me, like grab a color that you really wanna choreograph to. It doesn't even have to go into a concept piece. It can just be like for fun. If you've never choreographed to a color before, it can just be fun and try it out, you know? That's what all of these videos are about. It's just to explore and to have fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put on a song that I think represents the color You learned in how to choreograph faster and I choreographed um, originally to a Kevin McHale song it wasn't like orange enough for me so I changed it to cool in the gang get down on it that's more retro that is more orange in my mind so this is what I came up with dinosaur arms are not it <laughs> which is fine like it's always good to record yourself to see you know what works and what doesn't work and that clearly does not work but you know I'll stick with it for now and then I'll choreograph more so then I can make a piece for it the two bonus tips I have for using colors would be to use one color in different shades of colors so in my purple video that you saw I used a lot of different textures of purple and slightly different shades of purple. It gives it dimension and it gives it like a cool factor. Um, you can do this with outfits as well. So you can have different people in the same color but different shades. Say it's a different shade purple on top for someone and then the same for their bottom but a different shade on their top. So you can mix and match a little bit and it creates dimension. and it's unique that way. The second bonus tip that I would give you is complementary colors. I would say other complementary colors are red and green and then blue and orange and yellow and purple. So it's opposite on what the, the color wheel is. So those are complementary. If you're wearing orange, like in my video, you can have a blue background or the sky as your background. So having a pop of color on you and then a pop of color behind you creates that complementary color and the brain says, ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Or you can just keep it monochromatic and just do one color, say just a green. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it or you laughed at all. Uh, subscribe because I have more videos coming for you and comment if you used a color for anything just to fool around or if you used it for an actual project. Let me know below. You can find me on Instagram at at Aaron underscore Johnson underscore A02. Have a good day. See you later. Bye. Tell me what you